What's going on everybody? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be going over how to get a whole buttload of money in Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> First of all, if you are playing through the story, you probably don't need a whole butt ton of money. You can make it through the story literally no problem just by doing some occasional raids and playing through the story. So I'm going to assume that you're going to be doing this during the post game. If you're not doing it during the post game, just do raids and pick up stuff off the ground and talk to the girls in the wild area and, and you're fine. But if you do need money in the post game, great news. I have a way for you to make 1 million quid in about 10 and a half minutes. Now after reviewing every single strategy I've seen online in regard to having Gigantamax Meowth and going up against the championship again and doing that whole strategy which Meowth stats are horrible, using the digging bros, there's one that trumps all them hard. Uh, running the actual numbers, excluding how many watts you need, after doing the digging bros for 15 minutes, you make $300,000. This is going to be so, so much more than that. And it's really pretty simple. It involves spamming a single raid den with a single wishing piece. Actually, you don't even need a wishing piece. If you're playing through the game and there happens to be an active den, then go, then you could just skip until this time that I'm going to put on screen right now. But first things first, we're going to go to a single den, and you could also totally use this to get any Gigantamax Pokemon you want in five minutes. I'll link it at the end of the video. Right in front of any den, go to options, turn your tech speed to slow or normal, if this is your first time doing this. Turn auto saves off, and you're gonna do a hard save right in front of that den. Now I'm gonna be doing this with a single wishing piece. It says there doesn't seem to be anything in the den. Now it's gonna say, do you wanna save your adventure so far? I'm gonna hit A, for yes, and then immediately hit the home button. I'm looking for a purple beam. I hit the home button too fast, actually. I got a red beam there. The reason that I hit the home button too fast is because my character is slightly not pointed toward the center of the den, so it takes a few frames for the character to actually align himself forward and then it goes into that motion of activating the den. So pulling up the save game is gonna put us right in front. Again, we're gonna hit A right in front of the den. Do you wanna save my adventure? Yes, hit the home button. The important part is that you close the game out before that second line of text is done that says, don't turn off or don't close the game. I don't know, it says something, that's not important. But we got our purple beam, perfect. This is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, the game just saved in front of the den for us. I'm gonna hit A in front of it and it's going to spawn a Pokemon. I'm gonna hit invite others, communicating. I'm gonna hit the home button. I'm gonna go down to system settings. And whatever you have your current date set to, you're gonna move it one day forward. If you're synchronized to the internet, just unsynchronize. Date and time, move it one day forward, hit okay. Go back into the game, quit. Yes. And now, as soon as I interact with this den again, I get another 2,000 watts. And there's a stun fisk. I go to invite others. Home button. System settings. System. Date and time. Move it one day forward. Feel free to turn your tech speed back to fast. You no longer need that to be slow or normal speed. Now, we are just going to repeat this process over and over again. And from my findings, if you're able to get this as fast as possible, it is 18 seconds for you to go through all these screens and collect 2000 watts again. And after you do it more and more times, you get more familiar with exactly where the buttons are gonna be. You can sort of smash, you can sort of mash the buttons and you have a good feeling on where they are. Also that how long you need to hold the down button in order to highlight the, uh, the date and time properly. You'll get the hang of it, trust me, you will. Now, there's no limit to how much you could do this. I could even just stop doing this and go someplace else and then come back and continue doing this. It only works moving it one day forward at a time. Essentially what we're doing is we're farming watts here. And the reason that we're farming watts is the conversion of watts to poke dollars. Every single day there are daily events that happen in the game, including the watt traders in the wild area will constantly shift their inventory. And you may find one of them with a luxury ball. That's a nest ball. There are seven watt traders in the wild area. So you do have a pretty good chance every day to encounter luxury ball sellers. Kill ball for 20, nope. 
Another heal ball for 20? No thanks. I was literally about to say, uh, they can have duplicate items, but I'm pretty sure that was pretty self-explanatory. Oh, and it's super easy for me to find which raid den I was at before. It's that big purple one. Great, we found him. So this guy has luxury balls. They cost 100 watts each. What you want to do is buy all of them that you're actually able to buy. So I'm buying 669 nice luxury balls. Then go to literally anyone who could buy things from you. All 698 of them for $1 million. Thanks, I just made a million dollars. So the math behind this is it takes you 18 seconds to get 2000 watts. The price per luxury ball is 100 watts. I've heard some people say they were 50, but after the November 21st server update, they're 100. Don't know if that's accurate or not. So for 2000 watts, you could buy 20 balls. You sell them for 1500 poke quid a piece. So every 18 seconds, you make 30,000 quid. You could do that 16 times in five minutes, which is 480,000 quid or dollars or bucks or poke dollars, whatever you want to call them. Currency items, 10 minutes, that's a million. One hour, $6 million. This is the fastest you've ever been able to get money in a Pokemon game ever. Done, done. Requires no setup. The only setup is that you're in the post game and you have one wishing piece or you don't even need the wishing piece if there's just a purple den. It is worth mentioning that at this point in time, this works in the game. I don't know if it's going to be patched or if it's going to be cut out via the server or if they're going to start removing luxury balls or anything else. If I find any updates to this or if this doesn't work in the future, I'll probably have the title updated or a pinned comment down below. But for now, uh, this is the best way to get money in the game. Guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.